Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik from LearnOpenCV.com. In this video, we are demonstrating GoTurn, which is a deep learning based object tracking algorithm. GoTurn is based on a simple neural network that takes as input two cropped images from the current frame and the previous frame of a video. The previous cropped frame is centered around the object and the current frame is cropped using the same bounding box. The goal is to find the bounding box for the current frame. Now let's look at the internal architecture. The two cropped frames are fed into a bank of convolutional layers followed by three fully connected layers which terminate in an output layer consisting of four numbers. These four numbers are nothing but the top left and the bottom right coordinates of the bounding box. The network is trained on thousands of pairs of frames from many videos with known bounding boxes. To augment the data, the authors also use images as the previous frame and transformed versions of the images as the current frame. At runtime, GoTurn simply performs a forward pass on the network with no online training. That is why it is very fast compared to other deep learning based trackers. GoTurn was implemented in CAFE. Recently, it was re-implemented in OpenCV as part of its tracking API. This demo is based on the output of the tracking API in OpenCV 3.4.1. On a GPU, the CAFE implementation runs at 100 frames a second. And even on my 2.5 GHz Intel Core i7 4 core CPU, the OpenCV version runs at 20 to 25 frames per second. Let's look at some results of GoTurn. In all these examples, the tracker was initialized with a bounding box for the first frame and it tracks the object in all subsequent frames. We start with a simple video of a boy walking on a beach. GoTurn does a very good job. Similarly, it does a very good job of tracking this kid on a scooter. GoTurn is expected to do very good when it is tracking objects that are in the training set like humans. It also does a very good job on this clip of a car. The appearance of the car changes, but it tracks the car through the entire clip. Similarly, in this soccer shot, the direction of motion changes abruptly and the scale also changes quite a bit. GoTurn is able to track the ball quite well. Now let's look at one difficult example. The pelican is almost the same color as the background and there may not be any pelicans in the training video. So it does okay, but not great. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. The link to the blog post is right below the video. We explain GoTurn tracker in detail in that blog post. If you like computer vision and machine learning, please subscribe to our blog at learnopencv.com to receive weekly tutorials. Thank you so much.